What's up, MMO Attack fans? This is Zach here, bringing you guys a first impressions video for War Thunder. A brand new multiplayer flight simulator published by Gaijin Entertainment. Now, what this game really reminds me of is World of Warplanes. Similar name, similar concept. Uh, right here is where you can go ahead and select from all the different planes that you have. Uh, you can customize your planes. All of that's fairly standard stuff for this type of game. Um, you can select a you, you can manually select a game mode just by going here game mode and custom battles um, Or if you want to you can just go ahead and automatically join a game mode You can select two battle and there are really three types of game modes There's arcade battle historical battle and full real battles um, Arcade battles are kind of like they say they're very simplistic battles between two teams um, There are multiple countries or factions in the game There's um, the United States Germany uh, the USSR, Great Britain, and Japan. And when you play arcade, you're just kind of put on teams, and it doesn't really matter what your country is. Now, historical battles work a little bit differently. Uh, they're actually based off of actual historical battles that have occurred um, in World War II and also in other um, military conflicts from around the middle of the 20th century. And it's a good bit different than the arcade battle in a sense that the physics of the game aren't quite as arcade like um, you actually have to take off and land your plane you have to um, be wary of the amount of ammo that you have and the amount of fuel that you have and it's not as easy to maneuver around in the sky full real battles are very similar to historical battles although they are um, somewhat longer and it's a lot more it's a lot harder to aim as there's no more mouse markers but what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and pick an arcade battle so you guys can see what the game looks like um, there's not a whole lot of people um, really playing this game right now as you can see I mean for Germany it says there's an average wait time of about 20 seconds so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna go ahead and pause the video here and then pick back up once I get in game all right, we're in the game now, and essentially the objective for this mission is to destroy the enemy ground vehicles, which, I mean, I have to admit that I do find a little bit curious in a game about dogfighting, why it wants to put so much emphasis on attacking things on the ground. Anyway, what you'll notice right off the bat is the planes themselves are actually fairly pretty. Um, the ground is not so much, and I know when you're in the air, the ground doesn't matter, but when you get low to the ground, the textures are just kind of uh, low resolution and nowhere near as detailed as the planes themselves. Uh, arcade mode, as you can see with what I'm doing here with the Q and E keys, um, definitely arcade physics, because I don't think that you can maneuver a plane like this in real life. Uh, maybe you can, I'm just not aware, but I mean, just take a look at this. <laughs> Overload minus 4G. Yeah, I'm not really sure um, even what that means. Um, but let's see. You can kind of see that guy over there flying around in red. Um, when you get close enough, you'll have that targeting reticule that appears over him, and you just kind of have to line that up as close as possible for you to be able to shoot him. But it can be a little difficult to actually shoot these guys. It's best to get right behind him, kind of like that guy did there. And uh, I don't know how he got over there so fast. But um, while we're going ahead and killing these guys, I'll go ahead and explain some more of this stuff. You can kind of see up at the top left where it says, uh, I'm about to crash my plane. Great job. Anyway, you can kind of see up there at the top left uh, where it talks about throttle, speed, out, and altitude. Um, your throttle is essentially your top speed. Well, not really your top speed, but it's essentially how much faster you can go what what percentage of your top speed are you uh... you can use the w key to uh... speed up the s key to slow down and then of course you can see your speed there Now, unlike the um, historical battle you have unlimited ammo in a sense um, but only in a sense that you can use so much ammo and then um, you have to wait about ten seconds before it replenishes I'm not really a big fan of that. I don't see the point. I think it's kind of um, pointless, especially in more of an arcade sim quite like this. Um, so that's that's one drawback I think that I have personally. But otherwise, I mean, this is kind of an enjoyable experience. I kind of want to try um, 
World of Warplane and just kind of compare the two games because this one's actually pretty fun. I mean, it, it, it really, it's definitely simplistic, especially the arcade mode. Um, but if you like this kind of game, if you like just flying around in your little airplane um, and doing some dog fights online, it's a pretty fun game to play. And like these guys here, they're on the ground and they're highlighted in red, but it can still be pretty difficult to actually see them. So one thing that you can do is you can press and hold the right, you can press the right mouse button, and you kind of zoom in, and you got to shoot them all, and you can shoot these guys on the ground and hope that you don't um, <laughs> hit the ground before they do. So let's see if we can get this airplane. It's just kind of ah crap. You will leave your airplane in about 13 seconds. Critical speed push. <laughs> I don't know if I could have salvaged that, but at least I landed right on top of that. <laughs> at least I landed right on top of a ground artillery unit. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and click to battle again. I've only got one more plane left until I'm completely out of the game, so we'll see how long I can last. I don't like how it starts you off so far away from everything, because you feel like you spend more time flying to where the action is than you actually do participating in the action. So let's see, there's a guy down here, he's about um, about a mile and a half away, maybe a little more, a little less, and I still can't get close enough to use my targeting reticule on him. So I'm going to press the W key and go about 110% of my throttle and speed up a little bit more to get to him a little bit faster. And um, I can kind of go close to the ground here, make myself a little bit harder to hit. Um, See if we can get some more of these ground artillery units. Ah, that was a mistake, wasn't it? Yes, it was. And you see, no available crews to choose from, so now you just kind of have to sit around and wait on the game to finish. Although, you can go ahead and click back to hangar, and there's not really any sort of a um, penalty for you doing so. So I think that really about wraps it up for this first impressions video for War Thunder. If you guys want to check out more about the game, head on over to the game's official website if you want to learn more about MMOattack.com. Head on over to our website for more MMO gaming news, reviews, opinions, giveaways, and other awesomeness.